thank you everyone for coming today. Uh, it's a great honor uh, for us to be inducting uh, John Brennan as our third, uh, second individual, third entity into the CACC Hall of Fame. And the, the other is the 2007 uh, cross country team. Uh, along with Devon Young, but um, it's it's a pleasure to be standing here today and, and to be welcoming everybody, but also to be introducing uh, John. And, uh, he's been a great friend and colleague of mine for a long time, um, and clearly one of our most decorated coaches here at Felician. Um, the cross country program, specifically the men's cross country program, is definitely a, a dynasty in the CACC. Um, that team rightfully took their place in the Hall of Fame, and it's certainly fitting that John is going to take his place today. Um, with that said, it is my pleasure to introduce the Commissioner of the Central Atlantic Collegiate Conference, Mr. Dan Mann. Good afternoon. Thank you, Ben, for that introduction. Yes, it is a great honor to be here. I want to just put a little thing in perspective for you. The CACC is now 61 years old. The Hall of Fame has been around for five or six years. John will be the first cross-country coach inducted into the Hall of Fame, the seventh coach overall inducted, but only the third coach who did not serve as an athletic director in conjunction with that at a CACC school. So this is certainly quite an accomplishment for a coach only to be inducted this early in the CACC Hall of Fame. And while we're inducting John, there is only one plaque, but I think we need to give a shout out to Sebastian Powell, who was hand in glove with John the entire time. And while John certainly ran a great program while I was here, he also inherited a great program from Bob Simons, the former athletic director and cross country coach here, who built a, a team that won the first two championships in, C in CACC uh, for Felicia College at the time. Bob, so, here. <laughs> so, as I said, when John was an assistant coach, they won two CACC championships. <clears throat> as head coach from 2002 to 14, they won seven more CACC championships. He was his team was ranked in the top 10 in the region four times. Four men and two women were named CACC Runners of the Year. Two, were named, two men were named Rookie of the Year. 69 all-conference selections. 33 CACC all-academic selections. He was CACC Coach of the Year six times. He's, as Ben alluded to, he's a two-time inductee to the CACC Hall of Fame because his 2007 team was the first cross-country team inducted into the CACC Hall of Fame. And I'd like to add that while John was a great coach, he's really a better guy. He's a lot of fun to be around. First time I met him, I'm not going to lie, was in a bar. <laughs> the evening before the cross country meet in Philadelphia, we were eating. We weren't drinking, well, we were doing both. We were eating and drinking in the bar. And uh, I had no idea who he was. He recognized me. We were actually sitting next to each other. Sebastian was with him. We had a conversation there in which we. Uh, said derogatory things to each other for about an hour, and that relationship has continued now for the 15 years since then. It's been a very important part of my trips to Felicia is to, to see John and to, for him to tell me what a poor job I do as commissioner and me to tell him what a bad coach he was. So, with that being said, it's a great honor to introduce to the CACC Hall of Fame, John Brown. Um, which I'm guessing if you're here, you do. Um, 
you know that um, you know I'm not I'm not much for the individual awards, uh, and by that I mean you know when we're growing up in athletics, you know we're always taught taught the concept of team and team and team and team, you know, and you know when you when you when an individual award you know is a result of that, really it's a it's a team or a program award. So you know what what happens here today is really about you know Felician cross country and all the people that made it possible because it certainly wasn't just me. I was one part of a larger team and a team that was and a team that over the years was really uh, something special to be around. Um, and I, I jotted down some uh, some some things that I'm still I need to thank and recognize. Um, make sure I catch, catch everybody. And I apologize if I missed anybody. But um, first, I'd like to thank the committee, uh, the CACC committee that that nominated us and, and ultimately um, you know voted for our, for our program to be part of this today. Um, way back, I have to give a lot of thanks to you know, Sister Teresa, who's not with us, and Bob Simmons. For, for hiring, hiring me, at least as assistant first, and then later entrusting me with the program. Um, and JR, you, your continued support throughout the years. Um, obviously, when you took over the that was a, that was a, a big positive, and you've always been amazing you know, for us and our program. Um, as as um, Mr. Mauer alluded to, obviously I don't do any of this without Coach Powell. Um, you know, we were never head coach and assistant coach. We were always co-coaches from the very get-go. And I still remember the first day, was, I have a memory of the first time that, you know, when, when Bob, you know, told me that I was going to be the cross-country coach. And I was like, he's like, oh, yeah, you can have an assistant. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I, I picked up the phone and I called, I called coach. And uh, I, think, I think the first reaction, if I remember right, was you laughed at me, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And he said, I said, sure, why not? Let's do this. So, and who would have ever thought that, you know, after the 13 years that we were together, what would have happened? Um, you know, obviously, you have to look at you know all the athletes that came through the program and the families of the athletes that you know trusted you know us with their with their with their you know, young men and women throughout the years. And a couple of them are right here, James and Taylor. Thank you so much, and for bringing the families as well. We really appreciate you coming up today. Um, you know, and one thing that I think is often um, overlooked is our families at home. You know, when, when we give up some of our time coaching, um, you know, we're here at practices. You know, we're here. We, we go to we go to meets. We go to overnights. Whatever it happens to be, you know, it's time away from our families. You know, what I mean, and you know, both Coach Powell and I, you know, were blessed, you know, with great families at home who understood that, and understood what it meant to us to do this. And and I think that you know, you know, even though they're sort of the unsung, they are the unsung heroes, you know, of our program. So you know, we thank them, and I thank you know some of mine for being here. Uh, I appreciate you guys coming out today. Um, so again, I'd like to stress that this is a program award. You know, we were so proud to be the Felician Cross Country Coaches. It was, a, it was a great part of our life, and this is very much a culminating award, I think, for our whole program. Thank you very much, and again, thank you so much for coming today.